Artificial love, we just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, we just mess what it up What is up, everybody? Today is December 23rd And I have 11 days left in Australia This is kind of gonna be a wrap-up video from my time here it's been a while since school's been out I've just been chilling working I'm at one of my training partners houses watching their dogs and yeah it's kind of a bittersweet making this video because I've really enjoyed my time here and I don't really want to leave just yet but it has to be done. I don't want to be an illegal immigrant and get kicked out of the country, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just thought I'd kind of have some talking points about what I've learned while I've been here. Um, it's really like four big takeaways that I could say that I have. And yeah, just jump right into it. So, first thing is having the courage to take chances and risks because there was obviously a big life change coming here and I didn't think it would be this impactful on me. Like, I wouldn't say this has been like a life-changing experience. I still feel like the same person, but it takes a lot of courage to like pack up and move to the other side of the world and go somewhere where you don't know anyone or you don't have any family or resources really. I had resources, like I came here with a program and there were people that were here for me, but you know, you can't just call your mom or dad and have them fix something. It's, it's all on you when you're over here. So yeah, having the courage to just do something that you've always wanted to do with your life, it's, it's worth the risk. And if anyone finds themselves in a position to do something that they've always wanted to do, even though it's a little a little scary. You should definitely just jump head first and to go for it. Having the confidence to be yourself and do the things that you enjoy doing will take you more places than doing what everyone else is doing. Mainly because you'll be so much more invested into it. Like for myself, coming over here I had been an athlete for the last 10, 15 years of my life. Like that's all I had known is school, athletics, hanging out with friends and just trying to be the best competitor that I could be. And then graduating from Western, leaving America, that was something that I didn't have in my back pocket anymore, but it was still who I was on the inside and I think one of the greatest things that I can say I did besides going to university here was joining my martial arts gym Courage Training Center because that place is just chock full of amazing people, amazing instructors, great values, like I've, that's where I've met all my greatest friends, all my friends really, except for people who that I work with and a few university people, but yeah, like if I didn't join that training center, I wouldn't be sitting in this home right now. I wouldn't have this nice scar on my face. Thanks, Zach, but <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it's funny that it's also called Courage Training Center because what I'm talking about is courage and trusting in who you are and that's like the main values that are preached there. Um, it's ran by a name named Ian Bone. Him and his family have been so amazing, so welcoming. They've really made me feel special at that place amongst extraordinary people. And it's just been an amazing opportunity to take something that I've had in my past life and bring it over here 
learning jujitsu, getting into Muay Thai, boxing, MMA, getting able to study under these amazing people. Jack James, you know, he's a professional fighter, but he still takes the time to come teach us and roll with us and be our friend as well. And I can't wait to see him do amazing things. And it's, it's been so amazing getting to, to know everyone here. And it all starts with that first step, and just having the courage to do it. I have to shout out Jesse. He was the one that told me about courage. <laughs> so I really appreciate him for that, because without him, probably wouldn't have ever started. Another thing I would say, the second point that's kind of been hammered home for me here is like being yourself and trusting who you are as a person, because especially coming to a new place and having a clean slate and not knowing anybody. I got to not reinvent who I was, but people didn't know me. They don't know what I've been through or what I've done and not say anything is bad, but you just like, people see you as who you are at 22, 23 years old. And it was kind of cool because I got to make a lot of friends and really just present myself as a true version of me and people appreciated it for me. So I know everyone that I've befriended here it was an honest and true relationship and that's what's honestly been so amazing about being here is the people I've met and the bonds that I've created. Like, I'll never forget them. Like, I have friends for life in a new country now. So, I mean, if I ever wanted to come back, it's, it's the perfect place to come back to. Number three, this one is kind of cliche, and I feel like a lot of people are gonna hear this, whether you go to a new country or move away from home, or everyone says this, but yeah, life is never greener, like the grass is never greener on the other side. I kind of thought it's just different grass. Like coming over here, it's it's been amazing, but you definitely still have all those things attached to your life that you had previously, negative, positive, good, bad. It's all still a part of who you are, you know? I definitely have my own struggles in life and they don't just stay in Colorado. You know, they came over here with me and I've had a few trials and tribulations over here, but that was actually one of the best parts about being here is figuring out how to get through it by myself and with the support of other people around me. And I feel like I've entered into a new space where I'm more comfortable with myself and I know how to handle my emotions and feelings and urges a little bit better. And it's been really refreshing to kind of get, not like a reset, but a new perspective on even just myself. Like, there's a lot of self-exploration that's involved when you do something like this, and it's been really great. <laughs> and then the last thing that I had to learn the hard way, the very hard way, is to always leave an open-ended ticket, <laughs> literally and, and uh, metaphorically, you know? Coming over here, I was actually I was supposed to go back to Colorado a little over a month ago now, like six weeks ago. But I just, I loved it too much here and I wanted to stay as long as they would let me. So I really made it until the last day of my visa to stay here. And I think you should always make the most of your opportunities and stay in a positive situation for as long as you possibly can. Like, I, I'm just the hat greatest decision that I made staying here. I'm so happy I've created even more friendships and bonds and done more amazing things that I'm just so glad. I couldn't see myself having left six weeks ago. Like I would have missed out on so much and that's why it's also so hard to think that I'm leaving in 11 days. Because I think what else? But that's okay. And yeah, like leaving an open-ended ticket, like I feel like that can be a metaphor as well, because don't ever 
like close the book or finalize something like a relationship, a friendship, a, just a meeting with someone, like don't ever close the door. Like just leave it cracked because you never know when you want to want to walk back in and see what's going on. So yeah, I mean Australia has been amazing. This is. <laughs> Townsville was never really like on the map when you think of Australia. It's not the biggest city. It's not the most extravagant. I've been to Sydney. I've been through Melbourne and Brisbane, and I went over to New Zealand and I explored all these other places. And nothing's quite like this town because it's it's small enough to make great relationships and meet many great people, but it's also big enough where you feel like there's more than one thing to do, unlike in Gunnison, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, this is a place where I, I could say with confidence I've made a home here. Uh, the people, the relationships, just everything. This is, this is a really great place, so who knows? Maybe I'll find myself in a few months, years, coming back and just seeing what else Australia has in store for me, so. Yeah, this is going to be the last video for the Australia playlist. Thanks for coming along with me on this epic journey. And we'll see where we go next. There's some little moments it was easy just feeling alive. 2 a.m. on a wave talking like we had the whole night. Cheers.